Get the brand new Galaxy onesie at alex-plays.com. I'm gonna get, get, drink, get it. Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video where today I am in close up cam because I forgot to charge the other camera. But do not fear, today is another this versus that. And today, again, today, today, today is chocolate versus real food. So, I have an assortment of lovely treats to try, and we're gonna start off with one that doesn't actually have a real food because it is not um, like food. In chocolate for anyway. This is oh oh what is this? It's the amazing chocolate, the amazing, astonishingly spectacular chocolate workshop. This is from, and it is a tool set. How awesome is that? It is tools made to look like chocolate. Well, I say tools, one tool, and then a nut and a tube. What's that? A washer, something, a bolt, and stuff. But anyway, this looks real. This looks. C convincingly real, I would say. So I'm gonna crack it open, and we're gonna give it a try because I'm actually intrigued what it is like. Should have brought scissors, maybe, to open the, the box, but I do like the design of the box. It's very nice, very fancy. Ooh. And also the fact that it's made to look like it is actually in a toolbox with the, whatever this is. Is this edible? I'm not sure. Smells good. Smells like chocolate, unsurprisingly. Well, we're gonna start off with the spanner. I've gotta be careful when handling it because I don't wanna drop it, but look at that. Doesn't that look real? If it would, don't look at my face, look at, no. There we go, check that out. What does it say on it? Something drop forged, I think it says. I can't see it because it's backwards on my camera, but look at that. It looks genuinely like a bit of metal, but anyway, we could just pop it on the mouth. Mmm. Oh. And it's delicious, mmm, the finest of chocolates. It's dark chocolate, and that is blurry. Now it's not, hello. Oh, I could, mmm, I could, oh. Yeah, what if they tricked you and actually gave you metal? You break all your teeth. Because unsurprisingly, you think it's chocolate. Well, you know what? I'm gonna have to go for one of these, uh, these nuts. Look, and this as well, they're like, it's like it's been painted almost because it does look completely 100% real. There you are, a nice close-up look of the nut there. If it, why is it there? Check that out. Yeah, look, it, it honestly looks like it's been painted. Maybe it has, like chocolate paint? I don't know, but you could actually, hold on. Could we screw it into the, the thing? You can, you, you actually can, but it doesn't do it very well. I've broken a bit off, oopsie daisy. That's amazing. I wonder if they actually like put it in molds to make it happen, but I'm getting chocolate everywhere, so I'm gonna try a bit of this one. Mm. Delicious! It's exactly the same chocolate, but it is. Mm, great stuff. So next up, we're gonna try an item that does actually have a real food counterpart, and that is Brussels sprouts, hello. So, um, this is the, the real version of Brussels sprouts, and the chocolate version is here. Look at that as well. That does definitely look like Brussels sprouts, the same thing, holding them both up. But of course, this means that I'm gonna have to eat a Brussels sprout and then eat some chocolate. But I mean, if I was doing it in the other way, probably wouldn't be so nice, would it? Um, not much a fan of these. I uh, don't know really who likes these very much because they're given to you on things. I don't know, I don't even know if the American audience has had these before or knows what they are. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> um, well, anyway, bite through it. Um, so it's basically just a tiny cabbage. And it doesn't taste the nicest, I must say. So I don't understand why people have them things. I mean, I had some with Dennis recently, actually, where we roasted them and put like oil and pepper and stuff. That was nice. But these, oh, they're like little Ferrero Rochers as well. Look at that, they come in a little thing. When they look like Brussels sprouts, they smell absolutely disgusting. Um, ew, that's really gross. I hope that it had better not be Brussels sprouts the Bluffle Blount, Playable Thing, Brussels Sprout Flavoured Chocolate. Well, you know what? Bottoms up. Oh. It was soft on the inside. Oh no, that's nice. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm like that emoji that does the. Yes. Okay. That is good. That is mint flavoured. And that is nice. So there we go. We've tried a Brussels sprout and the Brussels sprout chocolates, which are very delicious. I didn't actually expect these chocolates to be as nice as they are, but I mean, wow. 
Wow, clamps. And you know what you should do? Guys, you should click the subscribe button. It's there, it's there, it's there, it's there. It's somewhere here, outside the box, outside the video. Don't click it because you get double daily content, you get fun challenges, you get gaming. You get maybe a vlog or two in the near future. Oh, I don't know. On to the next one. Gourmet pizza. Ooh. So of course I don't have the real counterpart to this because you know what pizza's like, don't you? So this says, the Gourmet Chocolate Pizza Company, Crunchy Munchy. Why does it say Crunchy Munchy? A bold mix of Belgian chocolate, vanilla fudge, chunky chocolate brownie pieces, and white chocolate curls. Oh. oh. Delicious. Hello sir, I have your pizza delivery for you. It's right here, there you go. Oh, you can see all the pieces on there. Oh, delicious. And for some reason it's come with like this big bit of red. This wasn't, I don't understand. It was just in the bottom of the box. What does it mean? What is it? Yeah. What do I do with that? I don't think I'm supposed to do anything. I mean, this looks delightful, but probably way too much chocolate to be having. So we've got a bit of, um, it's going everywhere as well. We have, ah, uh, one piece of our uh, pizza. I don't know why it's a French accent coming in, since pizza is Italian, I believe. There you go, there's the pizza. It's got the white chocolate curls, it's got the chocolate base, it's got some fudge, and it's got a bit of brownie. I'm just gonna go right in. Mmm. Ah. Oh. One of the curls, right up in the gum. But that taste, exactly how you'd expect. It's delicious. Would I say better than normal pizza though? No, I still love normal pizza way more than chocolate pizza. And that leaves us with one final item. And that item is tin sardines. Yep, there's tin sardines. You can hear them in sun sunflower oil. That is disgusting. I've never had any of those. Um, and then we have tin, ta tin sardines chocolate version. How amazing is that? They look like sardines. I mean, admittedly, just the wrapper, but you know, I'm gonna get, get, drink, get it. It's okay, I just broke the plastic, don't worry. Nothing's, nothing's bad here. Don't panic. So this came with just five little sardines. Um, but anyway, this, I will open for you guys. However, I am not eating it. I am not subjecting myself to that for you guys because that, uh, uh, okay, here we go. Let's bring this over. Oh, I can't see what I'm looking at. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's gross. If we focus it in, oh, uh, uh, the smell. Oh, the smell. Oh, that's gross. Uh, and then we have the nice sardine, the little, ah, oh, delicious. I want you. So if you're familiar with the smell of tuna, you'll probably know what the sardines smell like. Imagine the smell of tuna, like the, the tuna like flakes, but million times stronger. Or you're at, you're at a fish at the ocean, and there's a seaside market there with fish. That's what you're getting. Didn't get any on me, thankfully, and there's none on the table, I don't think. I don't want that smell in my office for ages, but let's get ourselves a nice, oh, a chocolate sardine. How about that? Oh, we're just gonna pop that now. Mm. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I realized it, made, it sounded like I said, ooh, then. No, I said, oh. That is some nice chocolate sardines, and with that, we wrap up our stuff. So we tried some Brussels sprouts, we tried some chocolate tools, we tried some chocolate pizza. I'm not lifting that up. That'll go everywhere. And we tried some little chocolate sardines. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. bye.